Sent for me when they came. I told you, it, it, it don't got to that. No, Martin thinks he has a lot of money so he can persecute any kind of war. But I am going to make him run for his money. I am going to put plans in motion and fight him to a standstill. Oh, please, my son. I plead to you to listen to your father. He knows he has a warrior in you. But when the time comes, he will not hesitate to hand over every fight to you. Please? No, but do you both agree that he has bitten more than he can chew? Yes, son, he has. But the wisdom of our people says that when a little boy ties the wrapper prematurely, when the wind comes, it will not only blow away the wrapper, but also carry away the boy. I have heard you, Father. Naila. <laughs> it's not fair that you refuse to talk to anybody. Look, you didn't do what the prince accused you of. And you shouldn't let it hurt you like this. Huh? <laughs> Naila, stop now. yourself even more by crying. Always wanted. Kill me and become king. Go. Go ahead. So you now see yourself as a brave little boy. A toddler that's never earned a dime in his life. That is being fed, spoon fed by his father. And you think you can block 
my car, block my way, and brace up to me. Malcolm. Thank you, God. I'm not with my boys. Those crooks. Those rogues. Those arm robbers who make you feel important. You don't mean to insult. You were the first to insult me. Not just me, but my father. Now listen to me. Stay away from my family. Especially that throne. My father's throne. It belongs to royalties like me, Emeka, not to losers like you. Emeka, you don't need to insult. Hey! 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 Great war, Great war against the throne. Great war, enemies everywhere. Mm -hmm. What could be the cause of this? Great war, war in the palace. I'm facing so much battle. Great war against the throne. I'm facing so much battle. Enemies. Your date of birth. Hmm? Your date of birth. What about it? It tells me that you are under a curse of a snake, which has been causing misfortunes in your life. Curse? A snake? Um, <laughs> sorry, how does that affect my relationship? I'm sure my friend told you why I'm here. Nothing, absolutely nothing can work between both of you except the cause is broken. You need Nega Panchami to break that cause. And on that day the cause will be broken, that is the day you have you will be in good terms with Ketu and Rahu. Who are you talking about? I don't know them and what day are you talking about? Had it been you were here last month, July, you would have had your problems solved on the 25th and 26th, which happens to be the two days that can bring positive changes in your life. Um, so, is there nothing else that can be done to fix this? Is there? On the 14th of August in two days time if only you can get your man to propose to you what the 14th of August is the day the Sun and Mercury are in quadrangle position with the moon which occupies the zodiac signs of Sagittarius Virgo Pisces and Gemini this Planetary positions are favorable to peace and harmony in marriages. Mm. Two days. Two days is too short a notice. And 
Just, just two days? I can't... I have no other choice. You need remedial services in order that you can have peace with Rahu and Ketu. But you know two days is too good. Young lady. You don't have enough time. You may go. that Idika of all people could betray you and join forces with Malcolm. Yes. He must have been the insider that Malcolm was talking about all along. You need to see the look on the face of his wife when she came to collect the money that I promised her. Hmm. Hmm. I told her that she shouldn't worry. She will soon become rich when she becomes Malcolm's or Nohu's wife. Oh, but that's still when she becomes the next queen of your village. <laughs> Greetings, father and mother. How was it, son? Confronting Malcolm made my day fantastic. You confronted Malcolm? Yes, father. I warned him in the strongest of words to stay away from this family and our throne. I didn't fight. Emeka. Mother. You are the mother of pythons. Yet, you allow the common cobra to disgrace me. Me! I have asked questions. Yet, the secret of this cobra has been hidden from me. I know that this cobra is set to destroy the royal family. And it has to be stopped. How did the queen get to know about this? <laughs> I've asked myself that question and I can't find an answer. You needed to have seen me there at the palace. I just wish the ground would open up and swallow me. So we have lost the money. <laughs> Is it not obvious? You go ma. You go ma. There is no way we are going to get ourselves into the good book of the royal family again. I think it's time I openly supported Malcolm. 
In fact, I will spearhead the fight against Igwe Udeigwe to show Malcolm that I can be a fearless yes. and dependable Ono. Oh the lion himself. You're my husband, this body. That's why I trust you. Eh? Odebu Kebo. Odebu Kebo. Ah ah. How can they just shoot us up like that? That's what it's going to be like. Your Majesties, uh, my Prince, you have a visitor. Did you get a visitor now, you? Erika, my Prince. Erika? Yes, my Prince. Tell him I'll be with him presently. Okay, my Prince. Father, I'll be back. Mom, I'll be with you in a moment. Your Majesty, um, from my evaluation, that girl should be taken to a psychiatric hospital for proper professional attention. I strongly believe that uh, it is the only way the ailment will be permanently put to rest. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, please make all the necessary arrangements to take her to the hospital. Yes. Her Majesty, I'll do that immediately. Thank you. There's an enemy in disguise that we need to know. That causes all these problems we really need to know. An unknown enemy in this house. Ah, here we go. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How's it going? Sit down, sit down. Let me tell the to bring you some drinks. There will be no need for that, my friends. Are you serious? I came here for a very serious issue. So, what is it, Prince Emeka? I have been under some very serious spiritual attacks lately. And it all started after I have made some good money and started living big. You see? I have come to several places for solutions, but to no avail. I came to see you because I heard that Chibo, our friend, was killed by a snake that nobody else saw. Believe you me, the attacks on me have been by very vicious corpus. I have a hunch that it has to do with the snake you killed several years back. But it will be validated if you confirm that you've been having any kind of encounter with snakes. Oh, man. 
make sure I deal ruthlessly with you. I will. No problem. Constant. Me. Malcolm. The maker you did this to me. You and your father. I will make sure the both of you pay. Make sure you pay for it. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. Oh, who are we, Dad? Hey, Zodu. Igwe. No one expects an owl when the night is still a total stranger. Igwe, you will live long. The mouthpiece of the of the gods. My ears are itching. And I will keep you waiting, Your Majesty. The gods have finally spoken. The snakes you have been seeing are just warnings of imminent death. Your Majesty, you are to hand over the kingship of Ifite to your son Emeka with immediate effect. Yes. Are you out of your senses? I am only but a messenger of... You must be out of your skull. Now you go and tell them that I will not be party to this kind of nonsense. How can you say my son will rule while I am still alive? That is an abomination. And I will, I will not be party to that kind of abomination. Your Majesty, the cobras will strike you to death if you don't do what they say. I only... The gods have got it wrong this time. Tell them. Tell them and tell them that I say that they have got it wrong this time. Ah. Tell them. Big. I want to apologize for everything that happened. I'm, I'm really... Mm. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> Let's just forget about the past and talk about the future. <laughs> you know, you and I, you can do a whole lot of things together. We'll be so perfect together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, 
So, how do I make it up to you? Mm. Mm. Well, by giving me that one thing every right thinking woman will appreciate. Um, well, I can't seem to place my finger on it, so just tell me and I will buy for you. Is that a promise? That's more than a promise. Okay. Um, I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, I thought you were serious. Yeah, I think he wants to hear what I have to say. Excuse me. Yes, you can. No, just, I'm going to tell you tomorrow. Don't be in a hurry. Just relax. You know. Wait. Mama, I can hear you. You've been like this all day. You're only hurting yourself by being here all alone, not talking to anybody. Ma, if one of you could betray me, I thought it best that I stay on my own. Naila, now. Ah, don't see it like that. We need each other right now. Just look at Chisum. I don't know if it's because she feels higher than the rest of us that she has gone mad. She went mad. What happened to Chisum? I can't really tell you. All I know is that she suddenly started acting weird. Like, to cut the long story short, she has been taken to a psychiatric hospital. That's serious. Very, very, very serious. It's serious. Ayla, Her Majesty wants to see you immediately. Her Majesty. Naira. Your Majesty. What do you think about the happenings in this family? Especially this next Malcolm and my son. I have tried to make him settle down with a wife, but he seems more interested in other things. Tell me, what can you say about it? Malcolm spells doom, Your Majesty. But with determination and strength of purpose, the royal family will certainly triumph. The threat of this family and your son. Sophia. What about her? I, I have this feeling, Your Majesty. She, she's trying to lure, or rather force the prince into marrying her. And if the prince marries her, that will bring disaster to this family. Are you sure? No, I, I can't say for sure, Your Majesty. But if by tomorrow she openly asks the prince to marry her, then know that I'm right. going to become king, but not until after I have reigned and joined my ancestors.
What happened? Not I. I just came back from Sophia's house and I, I didn't like the look father gave me at all. I mean, I thought that was the worst thing he could do, only for him to walk up to me and tell me I'm going to be the next king. But that is going to be after he's dead. Why would your father say such a thing like this to you? Was it a joke? If I didn't notice the venom in his voice, I'd have thought it was a joke. I went to his room, but he wouldn't open up. No matter how long and, and loud I knocked, I... Son, please do not take it to hurt. I'll speak with him tomorrow and find out exactly what it is all about. Hmm? Okay, thank you. Okay. I'll just be my Amy. I know you are not in the right form of mind for me to tell you what I want to discuss with you now. What is it? Sophia. She may try to cajole and push you into proposing marriage to her. Please, no matter what, do not agree with her. What is going on? First it was father, now it is you. Tell me, is there something I should know? What is going on? It's not hearsay. It's what I saw with my eyes. Malcolm is almost running mad. Mm. Yes. I attempted to find out from him what was wrong. Now, all the things he was saying were things I could not fathom. I think the gods are beginning to fight him. Well, the gods may be fighting him, but I think your son, Emeka, hit him where it matters most. What do you mean? In one of Malcolm's same moments, he told me that Emeka came to his house to warn him to stay away from the throne. And he refused. I heard about that. And he told me that the last time Emeka confronted him, that he turned into a cobra. My son turned into a cobra. Igwe, Igwe, I was only wondering if anything is the matter. Sometimes, the burden of being a king weighs me down. Your Majesty, I understand. I would like to retire now. All right, Your Majesty. May you live long. I beg to take my leave. Go well. What? In the palace, great war, great war against the throne, great war, enemies everywhere. Mm -hmm. What could be the cause of this? Great war, war in the palace, facing so much great battle. war against the throne. Father, you may live long. Mecca. Yes, Father. Do you mind explaining to me the mystery behind the uh, cobra that we've been seeing in this palace? Father, how, how am I supposed to know? What have I done to you that you have decided to pay me back with, 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 with evil? I, as a father, I have treated you and given you everything a father should give his son. And yet, you want to, you are treating me with evil. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I equally want to find out what is going on. So why are you accusing me of, 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 of something I know nothing about? What is going on here? Your son. Ask your son why he has decided to be wicked to his family. <laughs> 
your son wants to become the king. Do you think I am a coward like Malcolm? Do you think you can scare me off by becoming uh, 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 a cobra? Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Father's accusing me of turning to snakes. Please, 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 please. It's all right. This is not good for the family, eh? eh? Oh, please, every one of you, calm down. Let's talk this over. Talk over what? I said, talk over what? Driving off to with your gate wide open. Back to the city. Ah, to the city. We have a war to prosecute against King Udeque. Capitaine, God punish you and God punish your entire family. Did I hear you? You heard me loud and clear. I said, if you do not want God to punish you and your entire family, Chifao, you better go to the river. Go to the king and apologize to him on my behalf. I forgive you. You heard me. Apologize to King Ude. Tell him that I'm no longer interested in the kingship. I am going back to the city. The city, here yeah, I come. Let me go and mind my business. Finish. See the house you can take the house. God no. Marco. Turban, turban. And what do you know about all the cobras that has been haunting people in this family? Cobras? I, I don't know anything about the cobras. Don't you deserve things that come to you or you're just playing one god? Getting married, everybody's getting engaged. Let's not be left out in this one. Let's go share in a joy. Sophia, listen. I Amika, that is your problem. You're always so old. What is it? You know what? What? Let's get married. <laughs> let's get married. Let's go leave our own. Let's let's go and have so so much fun. You don't like the idea? 
Babe, look, ask me to marry you right now. I am going to say yes. I won't even hesitate. I'll say yes. Just say, Sophie will be my wife. And I'll say, yes, Omega, I will be your wife. You will live long, Your Majesty. You will be blessed. I am told that you are asking for my son. That's true. Unfortunately, he's not in now. So how may I help you? Well, I come with a message from your son's friend, Erica. He said she warned him because he could be the next victim of the cobra, that deadly snake. Cobra? What cobra? Who is Erica and where is he? Erica was their son's friend, but he's dead now. What? When? When did he give you this message? Shortly after he gave you the message, he died. Just this afternoon. Surely will leave this message to my son as soon as he comes back. Thank you, Your Majesty. Baby, look, just say it. And I'll say yes. <laughs> Ask me to be your wife, I'll say yes. Just, just say it. Baby, oh, I'm sorry. Was it about something I said? Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm I'm just. It's, it's only. I'll see you. Baby, baby. No, baby, no. Your Majesty, I want to know what brought the issue of Emeka wanting to be a king and at the same time turning into a cobra. I do not wish to have an argument. Leave me alone. I am not arguing with you. Is there something you and Emeka are not telling me? You know more than you're pretending to know. Is that what you think? Is it about me now? Okay, you are right. I know more than what I pretend to know. Your Highness, do you know that Emeka's two friends, Chibo and Erika, are dead? They were beaten to death by cobras. Did you say by cobras? <laughs> Maybe your son paid his friends a surprise visit and beat them to death over something that he has not told us yet. Your Highness, that is absurd. This is your son that we're talking about. How can you think about him in that manner? Oh, I have done a lot of thinking. And I know what to do. <laughs> but I wish to be left alone. I said I wish to be left alone. There's an enemy in disguise that we need to know. That causes all these problems we really need to know. 
unknown enemy in this house. Who came for revenge? Who came to kill and destroy? We need to know. You are a fool. You are a fool for not accepting that we have lost out. Malcolm is running mad right now. And you and I will run crazy if you don't get out of my house. Get out of my house right now! I don't know why I allowed you to talk me into, into abandoning you there for Marco. I don't know why. I don't know why. I did not talk you. You did. I did not. I only brought you a proposal from Marco. It is your greed. It is your greed that talked you into whatever you are in right now. You dare not insult me, Amuro. You dare not. You and never you ever refer to me as a greedy man. Never, ever. After all, you are worse. I know Very I greedy. am greedy. Uh -huh. So don't bother saying it. Idika, get out of my house. Get out of my house before I descend on you with the fury of all that I have lost in this enterprise. Get out! What have you lost? Get out! I'm already on my way. I'm already on my way. Nonsense. What is it you were telling me on the phone about Erika? A man came here to say that Erika told them that you might be the cobra's next victim. Erika, what is this cobra business that I don't know about? But I don't know. I'm just at a loss like you. I... Who told you? I mean, how did you get to know that Sophia will ask me to propose the word today? Did she? Who told you? How did you know? Naila told me. Sophia would ask me to marry her today. I was with Her Majesty. She asked me what I thought about Sophia and yourself. I told her what came to me. I don't think I said anything bad, my prince. And what do you know about all the cobras that has been haunting people in this family? Cobras? I don't know anything about the cobras. Don't you deserve things that come to you or you're just playing one god and toying with the feelings of everybody in this family? I don't know, my prince. I can't explain how it happens. I just get to know these things. But I don't always say them for fear of what people will think. What about what I will think? We are gonna have a long day if you... You dare sit down! Sit down before! I know everything you have told my mother. Who told my father that it's either I take the throne or he will be bitten by a snake to death? I didn't tell your father anything. I swear. I... Is it Izu? He told your father. How do you know that? I... I, I, I can't explain it. I can't explain my prince. It, it came to me. Listen, don't be too comfortable because I'll be back. from one fight to the, to the other. I know the cobras terrorized us in this, in this palace. 
And then the chief priest says that unless I hand over the, uh, the throne to your elder brother, I'm going to die. But that's not done. Ah, it's only the tip of the iceberg. I heard about Malcolm and his... Malcolm? Uh, <laughs> the almighty Malcolm. He came with his own uh, fight. He wanted to oust me from, from the throne and take over the throne himself. You know what happened to him? No. Oh, he ran out of the community with his tail between his legs, shouting that a, a cobra was after him. Oh, yes. But he, he, he said that um, it was on sighting a mecca that a mecca turned into a cobra and chased him. <laughs> How possible is that? I believe that a mecca is behind it. Well, I'll tell you, I am not going to let him disgrace me. It's okay, Dad. Um, I'm here now. We'll see all this together as a family. Okay? Uh, meanwhile, let me take on Mom, okay? I'll join you again very soon. I have come to question the wisdom and the integrity of the gods. Prince of Ifte, what do you want Ezu to do for you? I want to know why the gods have gone crazy and demand that I become king even when my father still lives. My son, there are things we don't want to happen, but have to accept. Things we don't want to know, but have to learn. And events. We cannot live without, but have to go. What is that supposed to mean? What makes skunk smell is from within. Spare me that. Spare me all that, Ezezu. And tell me in the human language what I need to know. I am not at liberty to discuss things I have no power over. You think this is a joke? You think this is a joke? That I will sit down and watch the gods run my life to their amusement? If you don't tell me what I need to know, you will not get lost before I descend on you with the veil of the spirits. Take your mortal hands off me! Serious as it sounds. 
this has been happening in the palace without anyone really caring to open up to me. My father, I mean, we all decided to keep it as a secret. Alright. Mm. I think we will go and see Ugon Naya. Who is Ugon Naya? Ugon Naya is one of the last few elders, also titled men, who cannot lie. What do you mean by he cannot lie? Ugon Naya lives in the truth says the truth at all times. He knows well beyond generations. Though he is old, but spiritually he is clean. His presence alone is famed to ward off evil. What? It's late now. I suggest you come very early so that we will go and see him. My only prayer is that he'll be strong enough to do something for you. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. God, you know I'm not desperate of others, but why would I be denied what is mine? I won't have this kind of a sleepless night again, no. They will have to kill me if they want, but nothing is going to stop me from seeing Emika this morning. Imagine using a stupid snake to chase me away. <laughs> I must see Emika today. Yesterday and today are still the same thing, and I am going back to that palace. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a deity, deity, deity. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a strange spirit. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a deity, deity, deity. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a strange spirit. There is an enemy in disguise that we need to know That causes all these problems we really need to know An unknown enemy in the house who came for a revenge Came to kill and destroy, we need to know there's an enemy in disguise that we need to know That causes all these problems we really need to know An unknown enemy in this house Who came for a revenge Who came to kill and destroy We need to know She is a man Daddy, don't tell me you slept on the throne. <clears throat> Son, internal strife is the worst kind of situation a king could ever wish to find himself in. And since I cannot wish it away, and since I cannot wish it away, I am going to sit here until either your brother or the gods come and take what rightfully belongs to me! Daddy! Daddy! 
Daddy, no one is taking your throat from you. That I can promise. Please, I don't want to involve. I don't want to clash him with your brother. I waited for him so as to hear what he has to say. But it's obvious he has fled the palace because he has been unmasked. Hmm. Oh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. The vulture has always been thankful to the gods for sparing the lives of uh, elders who inform the children that it is not killed for food. My son, you should be thankful to the Hordo. Years before your mother was conceived, your ancestors dedicated the land before the Ojita stream for the worship of a strange deity. They appeased the deity annually with a fowl. The deity protected your ancestors and flourish them but as the years pass by the choice for blood the deity protected and flourish your ancestors but as the years roll by the choice of blood changed from fowl to goat and then to cow one day it woke up and demanded for human blood. Your grandfather was a nice man who did not want to shed blood. He left the deity unattended and it has been like that for years. Emeka, do you know the land he is talking about? Yes. You see, the deity fought your ancestors' enemies with very vicious cobras. You killed one of those cobras as a child. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Yes, but but we were three that day. Obo is dead and then Erika too. Is it the same Kruber that is responsible for their death? Yes, and it is also responsible for all that has been happening in your father's house. This is the time to seek for the end to the beginning of grief in the royal household. It has just begun. What has just begun? The complete annihilation of your family. What? Come on, let's go. Something I don't understand. And the more I try, the more it eludes me. Is there something you want to tell me? I don't understand what you mean, my prince. 
Would I be wrong if I say there's something cunning about you? You're cunning? I still do not understand what you mean, my friends. What are you really doing here? I'm here to serve the real family. Your psyche was better. You would have known that there's something more cunning about me. What do you say? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Don't scare me anymore. You have caused enough hatred and trouble to this family. You can no longer tell me what to say. I will now say the truth as Ezu has revealed it. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to go. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not going to I'm 
Haven't you done enough damage to this family? What? You fool! Perhaps I have. Perhaps I haven't. I was actually having fun pitching every member of this family against the other. And now that I've had enough fun, I will wipe you out! No. No. Nela, it's not you. What? You know nothing about me. You don't know what it feels to be abandoned for years by those who brought you into existence. You don't know how it feels to be murdered amongst the mortals. Your forefathers wanted to have the most powerful deity far beyond the fetal kingdom. That was how I came into existence. Only to be abandoned after I had made them rich. And strong. And make her. You and your friends killed my messenger. And like your friends, I will kill you now that you have reached the age of manhood and about to taste real success. I'm not dying, no. Light and darkness have nothing in common. But their paths are bound to cross when their boundaries are not respected. You, you were scared of responsibility. That was why you lied. You lied and you didn't see snakes when you did see them. You, you, you killed him. I, 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 I didn't kill him. And you will join him. Light has always triumphed over darkness. Good over evil. He was innocent when he killed your messenger. He was only a child. But he is human! He's human! He is human. Your test for blood will be your death! For blood, which the death of his two friends ignited. I will also kill his family for killing my messenger. I live in the light of truth and I am a messenger of purity. You can only get to them through me, but you must release that poor girl you possessed and have manipulated into pitching my Igwe and his son against each other. Quiet, John! No! 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 Who? 
What's the matter? If something is wrong with Naila. Oh, my daughter, there is nothing wrong with Naila. What has held her bondage has left her and she is free. Just like this household is free. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, sir. Oh, no. Thank you. Oh, I thank you all. I thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I shall send a thank you. A little thank you to you. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Bless him. Thank you. Um, we are free. <laughs> um, well, let my also stand around. Get this thing back to where it should be. I don't care if she's a threat or not. I just want her out of the palace. You see, Marco, I, I am reassuring you. Amoro. 